published 1651 EDT, the 8th of September 2017 updated 1719 EDT, the 8th of September 2017 This week I was taken for a spin in the new fully electric version of Jaguar's E-Type sports car as it set out its green high-tech plans to electrify every new model in its range from 2020. The British car firm has taken a 1968 version of its elegant roadster and given it an automotive heart transplant, removing its petrol engine and replacing it with a zero-emissions electric motor and plug-in battery, Jaguar will charge you £350,000 for the privilege. Admirer Ray Massey enjoying his exclusive ride in the fully electric E-Type 0 unlike the E-Type's traditional petrol V12 engine, the electric power plant in the E0 Tiopus whisper quiet as the first journalist to experience the car as a passenger, I can tell you the effect is delightful but strange as the revamped soft top classic runs in almost total silence, it will accelerate from rest to 62 miles per hour in 5.5 seconds, about a second faster than the petrol version, with a top speed of 150 miles per hour and a real world range of about 170 miles though that could increase to just over 200 miles. It can be fully charged at home overnight in about 6 to 7 hours. The E-Type Zero is one of three battery-powered cars Jaguar is showcasing at its Tech Fest event in London. Future Retro in a £350,000 makeover, Jaguar has removed the E-Type's petrol engine and replaced it with a zero-emissions electric motor and plug-in battery shock. The electric E-Type will accelerate from rest to 62 miles per hour in 5.5 seconds, about a second faster than the petrol version. If you want to see where cars and personal mobility are heading, it's all there. As well as the E-Type Zero, visitors can view the new electric I-Pace, which goes on sale next year. And there's a glimpse to the year 2040 with the future type when an electric, self-driving car, with manual override, becomes a reality. JLR Chief Executive Dr. Ralph Speth who opened the event, says the UK and the world is on the brink of a mobility revolution which will transform our lives profoundly. Tech the electric Jag features a state-of-the-art digital display in the middle of the dashboard. The E-Type Zero can be fully charged at home overnight in about 6 to 7 hours. The E-Type Zero is one of three battery-powered cars Jaguar is showcasing at its Tech Fest event in London but he fears the UK government is too slow at providing sufficient public charging points, power stations and 5G Wi-Fi. In this new mobility revolution, if there is not nimbleness in response, the danger of failure is too harsh to contemplate, he said. The JLR Tech Fest is at Central St. Martin's, University of the Arts London and open to the public until Sunday, September 10. Go to jaguarlandrover.com and click on Tech and Innovation. Consumer and motoring blogger Rebecca Evans at the JLR Tech Fest with both the electric E-Type and the forthcoming Jaguar I-Pace top Nissan's new Leaf claims a range of 235 miles on battery power, more than 50% further than the outdoing model ahead of next week's Frankfurt Motor Show. Nissan has unveiled the second generation of its electric Leaf, pictured left to be built in Sunderland after a £36 million investment. The new Leaf has an appeal, which drives it forward when pressed, and slows it down when the force is released, plus a separate brake for emergency stops. It also claims a range of 235 miles on battery power, more than 50% further than the outdoing model. Bumper car The new Leaf has an appeal, which drives it forward when pressed, and slows it down when the force is released. Prices are expected to start at about £20,000, inclusive of a government grant of £4,500, when on sale here in January. A 40-minute fast charge boosts the battery to 80% of capacity, while a full charge will take 8 hours from a standard charger. More than 70,000 Nissan Leafs have been built in Sunderland since 2013, including a record 17,483 last year. Made in the UK more than 70,000 Nissan Leafs have been built in Sunderland since 2013, including a record 17,483 last year. Car phone Pugo's new London dealership Peugeot is opening what it claims is the world's smallest car dealership, in a phone box. The iconic red K6 series box, just 0.8 square M has been transformed into an online showroom and opens for business in Russell Square, London, from Tuesday. Inside, users will find a tablet connected to the e-commerce portal, where they can browse, finance and order a new car. Peugeot.co.uk Russell Square British sports car firm TBR launched its new 200 mph Griffith two-seater coupe, from £90,000, at the Goodwood Revival yesterday. Deliveries will start late next year. Powered by a 480 bhp 5-liter V8 engine it goes from rust to 60 mph in less than 4 seconds.